Hey everyone, I'm Sparrow Knight 13. In this uh, episode of the Tech Tutorial series, I'm going to be showing you how to use an electric jetpack, bat box, solar panels, glass fiber cable, and a few other things. But the uh, first thing I want to start off with is the energy condenser. Now, basically, what this does, it uses certain items to create other items. So here we got iron chest plate. The one thing you're always going to be wanting to look at is the EMC value. So uh, this iron chest plate's EMC value is 2048. Now all iron chest plates are going to have the same EMC value. You know, all iron ingots are going to have the same, are all going to have 256 EMC. Dirt's only going to have one. So basically, whatever you stick in here, it's going to, uh, you know what, um, let me just delete this real quick. So now I'm going to put this iron chest plate in. Alright, so. Now, um, basically, you've got to put. Uh, now, note, this will only work for items that do have EMC value. If it doesn't, then don't even bother. Like a tank, it doesn't have EMC value. You can't do that. Um, so basically, you just throw in here whatever you don't want or something with a very high EMC value that you want to create enough. You know what? Um, so basically here we got a iron chest plate we want to make like at least like 10 more of those at least um, so we're gonna throw in what a energy condenser which that's what this is called it's got an EMC value of 42,000 so that can create a ton of iron chest plates let's actually see how many um, whoa yeah so a ton as you can see so yeah, and it's so the remainder, the remaining EMC value that was left over from that one energy condenser alone is 1051, and it created 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So about, you know, 20 iron chest plates, which is really neat. So that's the energy condenser. Yeah, it can be really useful at times. This was. Um, I would not really know any, pretty much anything about this unless, you know, it was, uh, I learned this from a good buddy of mine, um, Hunter, also known as Angry Demon, that's his game tag, so, yeah, you know, thank you, Hunter. So, the next thing I'm going to show you is the bat box, electric jetpack, how to fuel it, solar panel arrays, and glass fiber cables. So for this, I'm going to turn creative off so that, oh, okay, I already unequipped it, oh, never mind. So anyways, in this bat, so now, as you can see in this bat box, you got 40,000, um, um, EU power, whatever. So that was all, that was all, all of that power was given to us by the solar panels, and the power was transferred uh, from the solar panels into the bat boxes using these glass fiber cables all right now wait uh, well, how you can do this so you get so of course you're gonna need glass fiber cables now note the only uh, so now see if you uh, look over and you type in solar panel there are a lot of them this one I'm, I'll explain in a later video um, currently we are using the low voltage solar array which you know you would expect it won't give it that much power well it does now note you should only put you should only do the low voltage solar arrays if you um if you give it high voltage solar arrays medium voltage or medium voltage solar arrays the bat box will explode like so all right so look at this so we got high voltage arrays all right so now we uh, now we have our bat box and look what happens bam we put it right here bam it's because the uh, bat box is getting way too much power it's overheating and it immediately explodes because it's getting too much power too fast alright so only use the low voltage arrays I learned that I really did learn this the hard way I was on a survival world and yeah let's just say it didn't end well for the bat box 
All right, so. All right, so now we now I'm going to uh, now basically what the bat box is it really only just uh, it just holds power and can give it to certain items. Uh, the item that I'm going to be sh demonstrating it with is the electric jetpack. So if you notice all the power that's being you know given from the sun to the solar panel going through the glass fiber cable into the bat box is being shown right here. It's going pretty fast. The, now it's been proven, you know, more, uh, the more solar panels you have, the more it will, you know, the faster it'll go, the more power you'll give it. Alright, so now you can grab a... Now I do not like using the regular jetpack just because you're going to need RE batteries and all this other stuff. I just don't like using it. But... And actually, uh, speaking of which, you can power RE batteries by sticking the RE battery in the bat box, which is pretty cool. But what you're going to want to do, grab the electric jetpack. Now, this was also shown to me by Hunter Angry Demon, so. Yeah, thank you, Hunter, again. So, now we're going to stick the jetpack in there. And if you notice, it's charging pretty, f it, well, decently fast. Now I've got creative mode off currently, so I'm going to be able to use the jetpack. Here, so now it's pretty much, yep, now it's at full power. So you put it as if it was a chest plate. That's pretty much how it looks on your character. That's the front, you, you, as you can see the, the little things like, yeah, you know, it's like a little clip or something. So anyways, here we go. All you need to do to activate the jetpack is hold the spacebar down. Alright, so now as you can see, yay, I'm flying. Now, unlike as in creative mode, you can only go so high with the jetpack before it just stops. Right. Oh, so no, yeah. So as you can see, it will only go to this height. I think this is pretty much past the building limit, but so yeah, you can only go this high with the jetpack. So yeah, now I'm just flying around with the jetpack, trying to waste some, uh, trying to waste some energy. So now, if you look in here, oh no, we wasted some power. So so you know, um, and alternatively, you know, you could well not alternatively, but you could. Ultimately, use this to make a house in the sky like me and Hunter did. You just fly up there so that, you know, no mobs can get up there. No one can pretty much get up there except you. The only uh, downside is if both of, if both you and your friend are on the ground. So, yeah, so it's really gonna suck if you and your friend are on the ground, your jetpacks are in your house. Yeah, just make sure you put at least a bed in your house and you respawn there. That way you can, you know, kill yourself and get back up there. But, anywho. So look, oh no, it's, uh, it needs charging. Just stick it in there, and you know for a fact that it, it was sort of like glitching out and stuff. It was sort of bugging out because because it was trying to give itself power and the jetpack power. So once it, you know, it's at max and it's and you know it's not moving numbers or anything that 
it's pretty much that pretty much tells you that the jetpack is at max now another thing you can do to charge the jetpack while you are using while you are using it which is pretty cool you can use uh, one or both of uh, these two things a solar helmet now this of course it's solar it will only work during the day so during the day while you're using your jetpack you know if you're not underground you know you're mining trees or something uh, you can get energy into your jetpack using the solar helmet. It's of course not as fast as the bat box, but it'll uh, it'll get your jetpack to last a lot longer. Another thing you can use, um, you can use this and the solar helmet out at the same time. It's not really gonna be a problem. These black boots that you would uh, you call them static boots. I think you. Uh, I'm not really sure how you would how you. So basically, I don't really know how they work. I think you just walk on. I think you just sort of walk in. Uh, it charges power. Now, note, um, it's not just the jetpack. It's pretty much everything in your inventory. So if you have an RE battery in your inventory, you don't just stand in the sunlight for a bit and yeah. So you know what? That that's a quick way to give it power. So that's pretty much the end of this video. Um, so yeah, please comment or and subscribe. A like button always helps. Um, so yep, you know what? Thanks for watching.